And developing this morning calls for more change in Patterson, New Jersey, one day after the state takeover of the embattled police department. Residents rallied last night in front of City Hall saying the mayor needs to go. Here's CBS 2's Zania Maldonado. Members of the Patterson community fired up after the New Jersey Attorney General announced the takeover of the city's police department. During a packed city council meeting, many calling on Mayor Andre Sayek to step down or be removed from his position following the death of community activist Najee Seabrooks, who was shot and killed by Patterson police after a five hour standoff during a mental health crisis. Although a motion of no confidence was shot down last night, it needed 100% approval from the council to go up for discussion. It was the cries of the community, it was the phone calls, it was the emails, it was the rallies and the protests, it was the demands for justice. The mayor responding. Tuesday to the Attorney General's move to take control of the Patterson Police Department. And if the Attorney General is coming in with financial resources and additional resources to help restore that trust, repair the relationship with the police and the public, then once again, we will join hands in partnership. New Jersey Attorney General Matthew Plackton says the goal is to build back trust in the community. More training or whatever, but we need more people. And that his office will take over day-to-day -day operations and implement initiatives, including the Arrive Together program. Arrive Together pairs a plainclothes officer trained in crisis intervention with a mental health screener in an unmarked vehicle to respond to 911 calls for service related to mental health or behavioral health crises. Some say these changes are a step in the right direction, but not enough, and would still like a new mayor leading their city. And it's time for him to do the right thing and step down. Now, state police takeovers are uncommon, but they have happened in the past in two New Jersey cities, Camden and Newark. We're live this morning from Patterson, New Jersey. Zinnia Maldonado, CBS 2 News. Zinnia, thank you.